this is so going to fail at some point very, very soon. Do the scientists mind? Probably not. But let's not test that theory. They did say mind the guards, right? It's going to be over there. It really is. Okay. Okay. When we move, it... Okay, no way we're getting back to the elevator now. So, when this disguise drops, we're probably going to be in a lot of trouble. Got your paperwork squared away? Uh, yes, thank you. Oh, this is so not gonna work. Okay, guys, if we sneak, does it? Yeah, it still gets used, all right. So. I think it's only the guards we gotta worry about. Not the scientists. So, let's just get back and refresh. Okay, what's the red line? What do you think the red line is? What do you think the red line is? Oh god, is that a guard? Is that a... I think that's a guard. Alright. So the scientist didn't notice and... Okay. Right, yeah, it does look like the guards are going to be the problem. animal testing. Okay. Maybe we stay in the science area? Okay. Should we be talking to anyone, do you think? All right, let me just... Central lab. Okay, I want to get back before our disguise runs out. Maybe we could talk to people who pretend we're the guards. All right. So, that's the million dollar question then. Can we talk to the scientists and maybe... Giles Molina. What a pleasant surprise. Thanks to you, <gasps> Reginald, of course. and the rest are up to their old games of deception and seduction. This is the guy. But what are you doing here? Um, okay, I need to inspect the dimethyl sulfoxide. On the other side of the lab? Why, that requires a top-level clearance. After all, we're running low on the stuff. I really shouldn't be doing this, but you did help me out. Take this key card. It'll get you into the hibernation lab where the remaining dimethyl sulfoxide is. Okay, cool. If you're seen by any of the guards, however, I'm afraid I can't help. Good luck. Oh, okay, thank you, thank you. See? Doing him a favor was a good idea. Right, let's... I think... I think the red is... sciencey stuff. Okay. We don't want to move around too much here, but I'm looking for things that could help me out. Right. Oh, we're so going to run out any second. Let the record show that subject 23K's cause of death is cerebral vascular incident brought about by a ruptured aneurysm. That's an 86% failure rate for this batch. I think we can safely move on to the next. And I had such high hopes for this one. Oh well, I suppose it could have been worse. Yeah, they could have ended up like those poor bastards in containment. Okay. 
remember, ministry terminals are to be used for ministry business only. Anyone caught or suspected of using ministry terminals for criminal, defamatory or non-work related purposes will be prosecuted. View lab notes. Note, all subjects have perished after undergoing multiple hibernation cycles. Subject 19F, massive cranial hemorrhage upon removal from hibernation chamber. Subject 61B, intestinal rupture upon removal from hibernation chamber. Lab technician accidentally shorted hibernation chamber. Subject electrocuted. Uh, subject 15R, pulmonary edema upon removal from hibernation. Okay. So, are they... Okay, you know what, my disguise is fading again. I... Alright, I'm thinking we just... The scientists are going to ignore us. The scientists are going to ignore us. Let's... Okay, let's go, 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 go. Alright. And... Let's keep going. So, slow and careful. Cyan, oh no, I was going to say those are scientists floating in the tank, but they're not. They're wearing hibernation suits. They could be scientists, I guess. Dissidents. Oh, absolutely. Dissidents. Definitely. Keep my eyes open for them. Don't fancy moving. We've got to get all the way to the other side of this, which I'm guessing is all the way. Okay, we've... Yeah, we've got quite some distance to go. This, right, there's a guard there, and a guard here. Okay. Where does that elevator go? Okay. Is this elevator gonna be... No, we're still in the restricted area. Okay then, so... That guard is gonna go across and then go backwards and forwards. We could, of course, time it. Oh, we are so in trouble at this point, aren't we? Let's just... Oh, this is going up. This is going up. Okay. Okay. I have no idea where we are. Hibernation lab? Oh, we're above. This is probably good. Oh, shh. Okay, okay. Come, 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 come. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Where's that other guard? Oh, he's there, he's there. I'm wondering if I could leave you somewhere, like, oh wait, you're still, you're still in disguises, it's me that's not, oh no, I'm still in disguise, I'm in disguise for some odd reason, that's not, it doesn't come back or anything like that, when this guy goes, we're just going to try and nip back and, and refresh. I really do not know. All hell is about to break loose. I think we're going to end up shooting absolutely everybody, which is not good. No, it's not. Is that guard going to go or not? I'm scared to move. If I even move an inch, I think my disguise is going to go. I'm pretty sure my disguise is gone. Where is the guard? Come on! Patrol faster! Patrol. Faster. I just... We need an upgrade for this hologram thing. 
Yes, we do. Oh, for crying out loud, come on! Okay, it's been too long. I have a horrible feeling that... It's been way too long. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Just... Quickly, 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 quickly. All right, okay. Okay, past all the cat... Oh, it's a terminal. Terminal, terminal, maybe. Let's have a look. All right, view... Remember, human trials are expensive. Tests with animals first. Brilliant. View lab notes. I've tried replicating the work Dr. Wells initially did on the reviving formula, but his notes are basically unintelligible. This may take a few iterations. Trial 64. That's tetrabyte ethanol, not toasted dinner roll. Trial 68. Maybe it's toasted dinner roll. Trial 82. Powers that be are demanding results. I've submitted my catalogue of dead sprats. 127. I didn't realise it was possible to run out of sprats. 128. Which genius left the new shipment of sprats in the kitchen? 237. Still attempting to complete Wells' formula. Right. So they're using Wells' formula for reviving. Still attempting to complete Wells formula. Still going through a dozen sprats a week. We've got a lot of work ahead of us if this is ever going to be effective at reviving people from long-term hibernation. So, Wells used to work here. Basically, right. Just, 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 just. Okay, 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 okay. And, whoof. All right, so we can get to an elevator that goes up. That elevator allows us to sneak across and into there as long as we time it correctly by the looks of things. Yeah? That's what I'm thinking. That is what I'm thinking. Okay, let's be as swift as we can be. Oh, I'm wondering if there's actually a quicker way there, if this is not maybe a slower way. Maybe going straight through that door is actually slightly quicker. Alright. And we just head straight there. We don't... Okay, let's... And then we wait. Uh -huh. Hibernation lab. Got a promotion coming. That's nice. I can feel it. That's really nice. Okay, we got one over there. One here. And one down there. Oh, this is not good. This is not good, right? So we have to get through that door and then find a way down. Just want to get in. Right, he's gone there. Honestly, I think we just got to go. Oh, no, that guy's going to see us. Oh, God. I'm in, but that other guy's going to come any second, I think. Did this get us anywhere? This is a barred door. Exit. Okay. Curiosity. Central lab. Where do you think this goes? And will it refresh? Okay, will it refresh? I know we've got to go back there, but I just... I think we're out of danger. Excellent, 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 excellent. Brilliant, brilliant. So, here we go. We've got Central Lab. 
is this where we're supposed to be going? I do not know. Alright, no, 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 no. Alright, that's right. So we've opened up all of these areas, which is good. It is the hibernation lab we're trying to get into. Okay. Bones and gears don't mix. Alright, let's refresh the disguise. Yep. Good plan. Excellent plan. Going back down. See? It's a little slow. It's a little laborious. But so far, it means no one is the wiser. So, what are we looking for? Why do I have a feeling that is what we're looking for? Okay, do not store... Uh, do not store directly at contents. Do not stare directly at contents. Too late. How do I get this out? Okay, we got... Use terminal. Okay. Welcome to the human experimentation station of the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Human testing is a required step of any new product or process in order to ensure accuracy. Please be sure to document the result of all tests thoroughly to save the expense of additional trials. View lab notes. Live human trials. The addition of dimethyl sulfoxide to the current round of tests has resulted in some improvements. Subjects are showing improved circulation and increased neural activity. However, our formula is still missing something. We are still unable to revive to fully revive subjects from long-term hibernation and removing their supply of dimethyl sulfoxide results in their rather excruciating death. The problem is compounded when we consider reviving and freezing subjects multiple times over their lives. To make matters worse, we've had a hard time securing additional dimethyl sulfoxide. We may have to make do with this batch. Okay, well, we'll transfer it to the canister. This procedure may result in invalidation of experimental results and the death of human tests subjects. Further information. Sudden withdrawal from the dimethyl sulfoxide is highly lethal and will result in the cancellation of any in-progress experiments. Experimental integrity and test subject vitality can be maintained by leaving a 73.629% dimethyl sulfoxide concentration in circulation. So we either transfer all of it and kill off all the subjects they're testing with, or we transfer the ex experiment details, or we, ex we transfer this amount, take that, and hope it's enough for Phineas. <sighs> experiment details. Experiment authorization, Rockwell Charles, Project Lifetime Employment Program. Objective to repeatedly revive human subjects from extended hibernation without causing the death. Um, cautiously optimistic. To repeatedly revive human subjects from extended hibernation without causing death of human subject and the loss of associated productivity. Oh, uh, I do not want to be killing their test subjects. I don't know who their test subjects are. There is also the argument to be made that they are actually at least... I, I, I mean, is their plan a bad one? If they're having food problems, would freezing people be a good, viable alternative? Okay. I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. I'm wondering if you've something vexing I'm wondering you, if you've got any advice on this. No, you've not. All right. Fine. What about you? 
something on your mind? You are the medical person after all. Nope. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? Oh. I'm, I'm, I, 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 I don't want to be killing off. Further information. Yeah, we've already got the further information, but let's transfer 26.23, sorry, 26.371%. Okay, so we've got some. Let's hope this is enough for Phineas. And let's get out of here. I'm hoping this is enough. I'm really hoping this is enough. Oh, and just enough the sky's left. Oh, that was perfect. That. Let's not shout around. Okay. I say perfect. What's your bet Phineas is going to be peeved? We didn't get all of it. Still, we can't be killing those test subjects. We don't know who they are. It could be innocence. It could be... All right. We can just stroll on out of here, right? We can just stroll on out of here. And... Now that you have it, rendezvous with Phineas at his lab and plan your next move. Yeah, we just walk on out of here. Yeah. Oh, and before we do go talk to Phineas, let's go and talk to the um, the minister. If we make friends with the minister, do you think we can, like, convince him to have her arrested just for being annoying? I mean, I realise that if that was a crime in this system, the jails would be filled, but maybe just this once, just this one little time. Okay. Out of curiosity, where does this go? Oh, that probably goes right to the back entrance in. What a pleasure. I haven't had this much company in quite some time. Ideally, hope I'm not imagining this. No, okay. Yeah, what a... Oh. Oh, we've... We've got a lot of things. Okay, uh... Curiosity, what exactly do you do here? Why, I do all the work no one else wants to do. I write reports no one ever reads. Monitor colony statistics that no one pays attention to. When I'm not being conscripted to perform in the chairman's propaganda, of course. Uh, take heart, you're doing what you can. How pointless, why bother? Yeah. Because someone must. Halcyon is headed for a collapse, and no one seems inclined to do anything about it. You say these things like you're surprised, and then I gotta remind myself that you've been locked away for years. If Halcyon falls apart, it will take all of us with it, laborer and executive alike. What astounds me is that no one is inclined to change our course. Okay, I actually think there are people trying to change course, but, uh, um, should I give him the parcel? Should I give him the parcel? First of all, let's just, 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 look. Let me get this straight. The chairman is keeping you here under house arrest, correct? Haven't you heard? Chairman Rockwell and I are on a goodwill tour of the colony as we speak. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, what's stopping you from leaving? The guards? Aside from battalions of UDL security forces, most of Halcyon knows my name and face, so I could hardly evade Rockwell for long. So they're obeying him. Besides, remaining close has allowed me to learn just how wrong things have gone around In spite here. of the fact that you're a minister from Earth. All right. Does this mean all the news about you and Rockwell working together is fake? Except for the bit about my suddenly coming down with stomach flu last year. That truly happened. Oh, okay. Hope you feel better. Uh, why would Rockwell do this to you? Because he needs you to be the face of his schemes, right? Probably because I've no interest in being his puppet. My predecessor was content to serve as Rockwell's lapdog. When he saw I meant to oppose him, he made sure I'd have little opportunity to. Right. No, fair enough. It's too bad you're stuck here, I guess. It's quite all right. I've got every back issue of Dissident Hunter to keep me company. What is it with you and the dissidents and Dissident Hunter thing? 
Are you telling me you haven't read one? They're fabulously That's what I'm telling entertaining. You. Also, they're a surprisingly useful means of ascertaining what's going on in the broader colony. The board's most pressing grievances tend to feature heavily as the problem of the week. Sometimes it's factory strikes, other times it's dissenters. Uh, okay. I got you a parcel. How delightful. Curious as to what's what in it? it? I have no idea. I have no I, I, it. It's a parcel. Just. The latest issue of Dissident Hunter. Of I've been course waiting it is. For this. Most of what passes for entertainment here is appalling. Okay, of course it is. Right, yeah, uh, I sent your message from the chairman's terminal. Excellent. I knew there was hope. Once the Earth Directorate learns of our plight here, they'll have to send help. Yes, we just have to hold out until then. That's not enough. We've got to take action. Yeah. What? C c is there anything else we could do now? You are a bold one indeed. But boldness may not be enough. Unfortunately, the Earth Directorate, as distant as it may be, is the only power with the reach to curb the board's excesses. And you think they will? Well, I don't mean to sit around and wait, to be honest. Exactly. Let's take this woolly bull by the horns. This is most heartening. How I wish I could join your escapades. Unfortunately, there is little else I can do from here, and... My celebrity would only imperil you. Yeah, we were not inviting you. Um, yeah, no, okay, thank you very much. You've actually been helpful and, yeah. Um, gonna wish you well. We have got places to go. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah, we took the elevator down and then came up somewhere else. Oh, I'm going to miss you too. Yes, I am. Okay, we did call it, didn't we? This might be the last time we're here. Do you think we could push those two over the edge and no one notice? I I'm thinking we probably could. Either that or no one would care. No one ca cares about anyone here. It's kind of disgusting. Totally understand why you got the hell out of here, which is exactly what we're going to do now We have to go and see Phineas, but before we do that. I just want to call in the groundbreaker We promised Parvati we'd stop there so she could go out on a date Plus we do have to report back into Lilia Hagen. She's not gonna be happy and Weapons from the void um, another of Hawthorne's logs mentioned looking in Gladys's shop for old records. I kind of thought we'd already done that, but apparently I didn't. I didn't do it. I think maybe I got a little distracted when I found that corrosive weapon and then just moved on. But there is still something there, so we're, we're going to the ground breaker. Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix... They're sharing a drink upstairs. Right. Um, I'm actually going to... So then I says, fine, I'll pay you back for all of it, with interest. I believe your choice to spare Chartrand would be considered the honorable path. Oh. You have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akane. Okay, that was... No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You work... You've had quite a career. With the chairman, don't you? Uh, let's skip the pleasantries. I'm just getting started. A conversation, at least. You mean stumbling around the colony pretending to know what I'm doing? No, 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 no. Let's skip the pleasantries. Why have you apparently hijacked my communication system and forced me to answer it? You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. Oh, hell no. You're not getting that back. Do, uh, I'm listening. You people need better security. Anyone could have listed those chemicals? How did you find... How did you find my ship? There's exactly one vessel in all of Byzantium that looks like it dropped out of an aether wave drama. Do we? Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. Uh, 
Why would I want to do that? Say no more, I'm in. All right, convince me. Wanted for what exactly? The answer is... What exactly is he wanted for? He has a litany of charges against him. Vandalism, illegal experimentation, sedition. I could go on. Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. What? Why? Because you say he's seditious. I mean, don't don't get me wrong, but you basically executed a woman for making an outfit that was a little bit too risque. It wasn't even that risque. Have you seen it? It's just a red suit. Uh, you want me to sell him out? I never like the guy anyway. Not for free. The answer is no. Hold on. Getting a lot of noise on the signal. Can you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Sorry, getting a lot of noise on this signal. Could you possibly go away and never call back? You are making a serious mistake. Yeah, by wearing Under a the suit. Contest, call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? Yeah, could you stop accepting uh, calls from people like that unless you ask my permission beforehand? Yeah. And you were you were you were in the middle of saying something. You were in the middle of saying Welcome back, Captain. something. How can I be of What assistance? were you saying? You were set you Take care. I require a functioning captain to run the ship. You were saying something and Okay. Fine, fine. Right. We still got loads of Olympus. Tartarus. Eridanos. Typhon. Hephaestus. We got a lot of planets here. Anyway, uh, before we get to Phineas, we're going to the Groundbreaker. We're going to give the good news <laughs> to Lilia that there's no. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. There's no alien. You're free to disembark. Thank you. There's no alien invasion. Mm. Status report: thirteen jobs scheduled for area maintenance. That's good. Uh oh. Yes, right. We're taking Parvati. I'll lock up behind Don't me. lock up behind me. Um, who are we going to take? Uh, okay, let's take Max and Parvati on with us. Who am I going to see? Um, oh, to be honest with you, I'm thinking maybe Ellie. We're going to go see Gladys. Who would get on better with Gladys? Probably Ellie. And probably with Lily. Oh, she's going to be a little... I mean, she likes Sublight. Maybe it would be best to take Max, actually. You know. Might need a bit of muscle there. Someone to be a little intimidating. Hello. When we give her the bad news. I mean, it's good news, technically. There was no alien invasion. There was no alien invasion, but, you know, she's a conspiracy theorist, and they tend not to take information that uh, contradicts their conspiracy very well. No, they don't. So, before we do anything, why don't we... Gladys. White one. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we're not, not, no, okay. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. Okay, look, seriously, uh, I'm, I'm looking for a, I'm looking for a science-y kind of thing. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. It's in the safe, isn't it? It's in the safe, and you're not going to sell it, right? It's because it's no, you're not. You're not going to sell it. That's unfortunate. Uh, oh, actually, you know, I quite fancy. Actually, quite fancy both of those. I'm, I'm lacking. This one reduces the weapons spread and sway. I don't think that's going to be totally useful for my, um, 
for my vermin, but that one might extra critical damage, so I think I'll take that. I do also need a barrel for Ellie's weapon, but I don't think she's probably got the same problem with weapon spread and spray that I, and sway that I do. I have a sneaking suspicion that the sciency weapon that's been seen around Gladys is probably in there, which means it's pretty much forever beyond my reach. We could have a look around the rest of the place. Maybe it's in one of these rooms somewhere. Ephraim. Wait. Are you? No, wait. Now, see here, I'm... What was I doing I have again? no idea. Have you seen a sciency looking weapon? I'm not seeing any sciency looking thing around. Sorry, it just was just... I'm being a nosy person. I'm getting to know... Yeah, alright. You know what? I don't need sciency weapons. And I certainly don't need to be in trouble with Groundbreaker. Let's... Go and give Ms. Hagen the great news. And then call in Junlei and get that date sorted out. You know, the date that pretty much had us running around Alcyon almost getting killed just for bloody cakes. Hi! Funny thing. Is it done? Ooh, right. I spoke to Chartrand. I'm not going to kill her. Well, damn. Contractor grew a conscience. As your employer, I'm both angry and disappointed. I'll add that to your file. Oh, dear, not my file. Technically, I owe you an exit interview. Care to justify your betrayal of our species? Or are we finished here? You misunderstood her research. She's our best shot at survival in Halcyon. You're crazy, Lilia. I'm not killing someone to feed your paranoia. Do I at least get a letter of... Yeah, no, she's trying to help us survive. She's, it's not an alien invasion. This is not going to help with you, is it? You're awfully quick to trust someone who offed her colleagues and called it a good start. Out of my office. We're done. You think maybe she's got an itchy trigger finger? I don't want to find out. Yeah, me neither. What a surprise. Seems we're no longer wanted here. Right, okay. Yeah, I guess we were done anyway. I mean, I certainly wasn't going to be executing that scientist. No, I wasn't. I guess this means we're not particularly liked by um, Sublight anymore. Oh. <laughs> On track to being a great employee. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Don't think we're going to get any more jobs from her, but honestly, did we want any? Ike, do you have any mods? Ooh, you're here. But... It'll do a lot for my credit in the promenade if people see you buying something. So, what'll it be? Okay, a little creepy there. Uh, I just wanted to see if you had any barrel mods. Answer is no. And I can't put mods on my current outfit, which is, I have to admit, a bit of a a bit of a disadvantage for this outfit. I mean, it gives me a little bit of a boost to leadership, and it looks spectacular. But in actual fact, I could have mods that add, well, the same amount of leadership, even though I get the double bonus on that. But they just wouldn't look as fabulous. No, they wouldn't. So, you know, I mean, I'm not seriously considering it. Okay. I thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sublevel. Uh, I could spend all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. It's all pretty worn, though. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, Captain, you see those fine clothes Miss Jolliker made for me? I ain't never owned anything so fancy in my life. Yeah, we should probably get you changed. Wait, 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 um, yeah, um, come here, uh, it, do we have anything better than because this, this is I've, I've been thinking for a while we need to get you a little better dressed how about leather business gear 
Uh, you, you look a little sharper. You do look a little sharper. Uh, it just doesn't look like you. But to be honest with you, you know, when I first met you, this sort of thing kind of worked. But now we, we've all, we've moved up market a little bit here. We have. We've moved up market a little bit. So, so. Yeah, you're looking a bit cooler. A good one, mate. It's not you. It's definitely not you. But it's a little cooler. It's a little cooler for now. We'll find something a bit more you. We will. To be honest with you, I'm thinking you're old overalls. Or something like hers. Okay. Smell that fresh air? Almost better than being outside. What do you need, Captain? Oh. Uh. Are you not... I mean, we're... Um, I, how do I approach this? Uh, don't bite the sun. Uh, yeah, Parvati is asked that you dock at the ground baker so she can invite Junlei over for their date. Yeah, huh? Invite. Invite to a date. Oh, do we have to do it from the ship? Really? Really? We can't do this face to face. We've actually got to do this via, like, email type thing. My God, you're shy. I don't know that you should be listening to those serials with Felix. They're going to give you funny ideas about human mechanical relationships that I... I explain. Come to see Sam? That was sweet of you. Here, I was just... Thinking. No, I've come to see you, actually. I've come to see you. Uh, Sam, go talk to Ada. Now. Dust accumulation analysis. 2.5 years. Okay, go, go away. Uh, yes, go away. Papati! All right. She's on her way. How do I look? Well, that's not the, that's the, you look terrific. That's not the outfit you're going to wear, is it? That's not, you do look cleaner, maybe. I don't know. Where's the actual outfit? My hands have finally stopped shaking. All right, all right. Deep breath. Here I go. Okay, where? Okay, did she wear the outfit? Please tell me. Please tell me, because because we didn't have... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Was I supposed to... Was I supposed to... Right, there's the... There's the... There's the sweetheart cake. There was the casserole. Why didn't we give her the casserole? Why didn't we give her the casserole? We were supposed to give her a casserole, weren't we? Where's the outfit? Where is the bloody outfit? Okay, incense vessel. Uh, okay. Okay, check in on the date. All right, but why do I still have all of the, whoa. Okay, she's got an outfit on. Anyhow, so I told him, Dad, I'm a big girl now. I ain't need your help. I can do it on my lonesome. What did he say to that? Have at it then. There's the casserole. And he handed me his favorite wrench, the one he used for the canner. He was probably half as tall as I was. He didn't scold you for talking back to him? Nah, he was never like that. I always thought it was funny when I get indignant about something. Then he'd watch me do whatever it was, make sure I didn't get hurt, but he'd never interfere. I learned a lot that I feel really. I wish I could have met him. Anyone who helped shape you must have been a special person. Uh, hi. I was just checking in on you. You got the casserole, you, you got the cakes. You, I'm just checking everything. So is everything okay? My father. Look at me. All dressed up for once. Yeah. Hi. How are you? Some of the cable routing in here is unique. I'm getting the feeling. Well, what about your mama? I, I don't mean to pry. You just hardly mention her and I, I've been wondering. She passed when I was small. Taught me how to change a fuse on her deathbed. Pretend to do something. Even sick, she was patient with me. She kept exhaustive journals of my childhood, my father said. Like she was A-B testing child rearing. Must be you got that exacting nature from her. Exacting is a kind way to put it. Inflexible, my father would have said. Bullheaded. Cold. Sorry, I'm washing up. I'm, wa I'm just, just, okay. Uh, head to the kitchen and see how the date is going. They're having a great time. You should leave the ship and let them enjoy their date together. Oh, do, do, do you want me to get out of here now? Okay, brilliant. Okay. Um, I will 
Get out of here. I don't actually have anything to do on the groundbreaker. I s no, leave Parvati there. Um, yeah, let's take Felix. He's not been there for a while. And Ellie. Maybe we could look around for that science weapon. Although I suspect that's going to get us into a huge amount of trouble. But then what's new? Okay. Um. I'll keep it down. Is this gonna? T oh, there's a secret area behind here. And squatter's journal. I served on two corporate freighters before I got stranded here. Everyone's heard my sob story, but no one's listening. To them, I'm. To them, I'm just background radiation. Wasn't my fault the captain decided to take off early. Wasn't my fault no one checked the crew manifest. Wasn't my fault they replaced me with a full timer. Now I'm filthy, bitless, and bedless. Far as anyone's concerned, I'm groundbreaker trash. That's how I live. And if no one agrees to take me on as a crew, I suppose that's how I'll die. Okay, that's a little sad. Um... Okay, I don't want to be robbing whoever it is that's squatting here. Good grief, it's dark. Alright, there seems to be a hole. I'm hearing an electrical... Uh, Okay, this doesn't look like someone's squat. This looks... Whoa. Okay, where the hell is this going? This is... Where the... Oh, we're in... We... We're in the bloody sick bay. You remember what I said about not getting into trouble? You remember that? You remember that? We're failing. Just come on, come on, come on, come on. You know, looking at the map... It doesn't actually look like it's around here. The information I've got seems to be suggesting it's near to Gladys, but... It's marked on the map as... Okay. It's... Okay. This is... Uh, this is where the crew all... Okay, can I? How in... Oh. Okay. Okay. D don't mind me, I'm a... Uh... Ceiling inspector. Okay. Oh, we are. S I'd say anything here falls under the salvage protocols of finders keepers. Oh, there. Outlaws. I did. Okay. Well, you said finders keepers, so that means this is just outlaws. More outlaws. Oh, okay. Okay. God, well, we totally failed on the stand out of trouble thing, didn't we? Just like that. Yeah. Failed to not get in trouble just like that.